Morning YouTube. A uh, little update on the Measure Smith uh, progress that I've done over the weekend. So this is part number two. So as you can see I've been quite busy. Um, after assembling uh, the cockpit I uh, commenced with the painting and uh, it's been painted in RLM 66 which is the uh, light colour that they use to paint the interiors of their um, of, well of this particular aircraft. And on there you can see I've added uh, seat belts I might have mentioned this in a previous video, but uh, I used them from an old T-34 kit, which were uh, the straps for the uh, spare tracks, and uh, they turned out well to be very suitable for the for the seats. And uh, this is the RLM-2, which is what we've painted the gun bay in. I haven't painted the guns yet, but I've weathered it, sprayed some shadows on there as well. So, there you go. my dog's going bananas because the garbage men are outside. And then on this piece here, if you can see this part here, this raised part, this is actual copper wires that I added in. I um, didn't like the um, detail etched into the actual panel itself, it just didn't pop out enough. So I put that on there myself. Good fun as well, putting a few bit of extra details on, like there. Bit of photo etch on there as well. We actually got got some like rivet work there, just to add that tiny little bit of detail. And there's the cockpit. I've got to finish the cockpit. Well, all of it really. Basically, I've just given it a light dry brush just to expose all the details for me to paint. So this panel's got to be black. A few switches on there. You've got the fuel pump. I'll paint that yellow to make it stand out. And then you got like a red and yellow knobs on the on the fuel pumps there. Yeah, and uh, seat belts there. Again, same as before. Photo etch ones I use from uh, another kit. But uh, it's. Uh, just hope to see if you can see that. There you go. So, yeah, as you can see, it's just got a very light dry brush. Got to paint the uh, dashboard. But uh, that's going to be for Saturday because, like I say, I'm, I'm doing this kit on my weekends only but I'll be publishing the updates during the week and again if we just put my hand under there you see the raised wires going across there again that's the copper copper wiring I used oh, yeah, there's, about, there's, one, two, there's three strands on there and uh, I've done some research and I found some pictures of interiors If you have a look at this picture here, you can see there's got lots of yellow wires dangling everywhere, but for the size of the kit, it's just the components I got are just way, 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 way too big. You need really tiny components, but I thought having these yellow wires coming down the side, like I have on the on this model, it's a great reference. Got some great colours here. Like got, um, this is basically the radar operator, the radio operator. You've got basically all the batteries down here and all the equipment. You, you get a fraction of detail with this kit. Honestly, you do. So um, it's a great reference if you fancied um, to super detail a kit in a in a larger scale like 132nd. But uh, I've seen the 132nd kits. Uh, they are nice, but way out of my price range. They're like you know. To nearly an over 100 quid, and another thing is, uh, is the if I here we go, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I've shaded inside with German camouflage black brown, and it's turned out all right. I'm quite happy with it. And this is the RLM Tug paint, uh, the German planes early versions were painted with this to begin with, but now. Well, not now. Then, in later later years, they went to this dark grey. God knows why. Wheel wells are done. Uh, Michael Halmakabarkas, if you're watching, you were right about the wing roots. They were a difficult fit, so I've had to shave them down in order to make them fit. I've still got to do a bit more work on it, but as you can see, it's a better fit on that half. Than it is on this one because it just 
don't fit. So I've got to sand that bit down either side, even it all out, and hopefully that will be it then, job done. So yeah, thanks for the heads up on that. I um, appreciated that, bud. Thank you very much. Uh, that's pretty much the progress I've done over the weekend. Yeah, it's not a lot, but you know that was like two or three hours on each each night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Yep. So I'm happy with that. Okay then. Well, thank you very much, and uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. And remember to hit that like button. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye for now.